All right, guys, welcome back. First thing is I want to thank you, all my new followers, all my new subscribers on all my social medias. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, today, guess what? We're back on the GT6. Previous video, we did all the wiring, all that stuff got all tucked away. And there's parts on order for the water pump because the water pump also was leaking. Um, the housing behind it, we got all those gaskets in. And we also got our cooling fan. Yes, we are going electric. We're getting rid of that piece of crap plastic one. Our gaskets here for those housings, um, right behind the wire pump. So you get that back in. I also get the radiator radiator in. And uh, dang, this thing's just gonna get back together pretty quickly. So let's get to it. Um, just gotta put everything back together. Get it uh, right there is good. But um, yeah, let's check this fan out on the radiator, see how well it fits. So we get the fan opened up here. It comes with a few things. Obviously, we get our 12-inch fan right there. This is a 12-inch fan, 80 watts at uh, 1100 CFM, I believe it is, pushing and pulling. We got our little brackets here for the mounting. We got our little rubber uh, mounts plus our springs and all the cables to mount it as well. And then here is our radiator. So my thing is, I measured this out. 10-inch fan, it fit perfectly, but I can only get those in the 850 CFM. So... We actually ordered a 12 inch fan but the looks of this it's gonna fit looks like i don't know one handed here looks like it's gonna fit perfectly right in there look at we got a little bit of room right there a little bit of room right there and no we do not have to use these mounting holes here we can either use these ones here which i'm probably going to use here 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 and here and this can just run up or run down however we want to do it but I gotta make sure that we can use this on the back of this thing because of where the water pump sits. I don't want it to get in the way and we already mounted this and have to take it off, remount to the front of it as a pusher instead of a puller. So that's what we're gonna do now. We're just gonna set the radiator in there, see how well it fits, possibly line that up in there before we put the gaskets and everything on and uh, see if we need to put this as a pusher. So we're getting this in here. May have to bolt the radiator up just to find out, but it looks like it will clear clear it just fine we might have to move um this up a little bit probably right about there make sure it's gonna stay but it looks like uh the looks of it it's gonna clear which is actually really good considering i just kind of guessed at all this but I'm going right there if not we can always put it on as a pusher but we'll see there there's where it'll sit probably It's, uh, oh, we got plenty of room. Yeah. Ooh. Just run around with it. Yeah. Kind of tight. Tight fit. But we'll get it in there. All right, cool. We got the wire pump on here. That's cool. All said and done. Gaskets on. Bolts are tightened up. They're kind of pain the butt to get to because you can see them right there. Literally right there. <laughs> Not much room to get anything in there, but you're going to have a little tiny wrench. So, other than that, that's done. Uh, now we're going to get the radiator set in there. Uh, temporarily bolted down so we can see how the fan's going to fit, if it's going to work as a puller instead of a pusher. So I just don't want to get in the way and destroy the fan. Uh, on the crank there so well there's the new belt got the new belt on there we got the belt all tightened down while we were on that phone call it's nice and nice and pretty snug you just gotta put something here pull this back tighten this bolt up and then there's a bolt on the bottom which we tightened up to keep it from moving back and forth easy stuff now I cleaned up the radiator a little bit it's out here we're just throwing a little paint in the outside just making it look real pretty black so Trying to get that together because ordering a new one to make it actually like shiny. Holy crap! You don't want no about 200 bucks for your radiator fans, all that stuff. We're just gonna do it right now. We're just gonna reuse the stock one for now until we get a little bit. Uh, until we get this going, and then uh, we'll change the change the radiator to one of the newer, nicer aluminum style runs. So, well, here's your fan, all mounted. We had to do a little modification to it, but oh well. If it it spins, it works. Easy way to do it, they come with little thingies you stick through with a spring. Then, and the 
what do you call it, button on the back that holds it in place. So pretty easy to um, install. Well, radiator's back in with the fan. Not wire jet because we just got to figure that out. All these moving parts around here, but we're gonna fill it with water. Make sure we got no leaks first. Run it for a minute. All pretty. Hopefully we got no leaks. I'm not pulling this thing back apart. All right. Well, we let this thing run for I don't know idle for about an hour. There's no leaking anywhere. It's completely dry under here. Yay! She's a little warm. Just a little. That's a big deal. It's done. Gotta readjust the carbs off because something's going on with the idle. Now she's ready to go on a little ripsky run. All right, guys. Well, it was about an hour and a half later. I had to take care of some stuff and I uh, had to run home and deal with a couple of things. But um, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for more, subscribe for more. Gee, I can't talk right now. But uh, yeah, leave a comment and uh, gee, I like the video. But we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.